Hello, good morning. We're here this morning with uh, Mike Lido from Lil Lido's Catering, and uh, we'll take it away. So, uh, describe what your business is. Our full service uh, catering company. So, we do stuff bachelor parties, bachelor parties, bridal showers, weddings, cooking classes, brunches, anything you can think of, we'll do. Um, and all our food on site. So, we're not like other caterers who are cooking somewhere else and we eat it. So we're always cooking on site. So, we either fill the kitchen or use the kitchen if you have any event. So, where are you originally from? Uh, born in Texas. Okay. Uh, I spent well, I was only there a couple of years with family in New Jersey, uh, right outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, support. and then I've been here most of my life since 1990. So, where does the, uh, I, I saw in your website that you kind of specialize in Italian food? Yeah. Um, my father originally comes to Sicily, so I grew up with a lot of great food. Uh, my grandmother and my aunt Tina specifically were just. I could still try to recreate their stuff now. I know it just wouldn't get there. They just do it that well. Um, it's part of Yeah, I mean, they, that was their job. They didn't say it, but that's, that's how they work. They take care of the house, and you can do it for everybody. My grandmother, my dad's family had seven kids, so it was awesome. Um, so, father's from Sicily, and during college, me personally, I got into from after college, aligned with a chef in the valley, I was more passionate about food. And then back in 2012, I reached out to some cousins we still have in Sicily, and I asked them, like, hey, like, can you give me a summer job working at a restaurant? So I'm like, yeah, let me see what you can do. So I ended up working two summers in Sicily, two in France, and then one in Florida. Yeah, it was really crazy experience. I look back now, I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking or what I was doing. Uh, part of the catch was I had to learn new languages. And, yeah, so I knew a little bit of Italian, but then it was a culture shock because my father doesn't actually know Italian, he just knows kind of the dialect. So that was another language I had to learn on top. So it was a great experience. I saw a lot of different food and just kind of see you know, a completely different lifestyle and approach to it. So plus and minus as I saw. Uh, so what actually made you go into versus uh, <laughs> uh, lack of options. <laughs> no. uh, lack, of, lack of money. Um, no, I, I really believe God has a plan. I knew I wasn't ready for a restaurant yet. Life isn't really traditional anymore. Some of those things you get out of culinary school years ago, you'd be like, all right, I want to start my own restaurant. Restaurants are really expensive. You take a lot of money up front, and I wasn't throwing money yet. Like, I was still very early on, the cleaning and what to serve and how to cook it. Like, so there was something in me saying, just wait. Um, so I got back in 2015 from France. I was like, I don't want to go back to serving. I know food. I think I know it well. To be honest, now I go, I don't know. I didn't know what I was talking about back then. I do now. Um, and I was like, let me do catering. I was do small events. Small dinner parties, and kind of go from there. I never thought it would be doing like the larger events that I discussed. And I was just like, nah, I would never gonna do that. And then I remember telling my dad that, like, no, I don't want to do the big stuff. And then, like, a year and a half, no, two years ago, I started doing the bigger stuff. I thought you were gonna do that. Yeah, I changed my mind. Always been fascinated with health and trying to improve your your health and be healthier and be more energetic and uh, happy with life. Yeah. Um, so I just kept kind of going with that. Um, I with that as well. Yeah, I'm sitting in the hall to this. I'm just sitting at today. So, yeah, there seems like some of those stepping stones were put in place earlier. Yeah, just kind of. Uh, again, it's part of the plan. It was just like, hey, I see, kind of see it now how it all laid out. And with college to the chef here to the opportunity. All right, these are all working in the right direction. People with catering, getting a certain job at certain times, and really taking advantage of the real thing, ready for real thing. What is uh, something that most people don't know about your business? I know you already mentioned that you take care of everything from scratch, but what's something else that's different? Um, 
yeah, the energy we put into it. I mean, uh, my sous chef, my pastry chef, was phenomenal. She got 30 minutes of sleep last night. Because we had an event last night. She did a chocolate pistachio cart for And then this morning we had a brunch at that she needed to be there at 6. But she had to make a midi quiche from scratch for you. But uh, she made a little potato and a lot of from scratch. She made skeletons from scratch. She juiced 15 pounds of oranges. Celery juice. We made uh, another mango. It was carrot, apple, ginger, lemon juice. There was a coconut one. So we all, and I'm with her. I mean, I got up early to help her put that together. But I got her home at 10.30, 11 o'clock last night. And then she's like, I need you here at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need help with the avocado toast. I'm like, all right, I'm here for you. Uh, but no, uh, the, just the passion and energy that they always do, just kind of obsessive about it. There's a seed in it that takes away from our whole life. We just like what we're doing and having people happy at the end. Uh, anything exciting going on that you can touch on the Yeah. Um, we talked about real estate for an interview. Um, I actually just put an offer in a town home in Charleston. So the plan is, I think I might be able to accomplish it, but during the summer is go out to Charleston and do catering there. So you can do fast drive parties there, or maybe you can drive out to Hills Head or down to Savannah and do wedding and things like that. So if we do back and forth. Yeah. So when I get an opportunity to get away, kind of rewrite menus, hone in on the experience and catering aspect, you know, what makes sense when you put trends in every day. I really like the fish too. If I could not be able to do that, uh, that would be nice. If I could fit in my schedule. But right now, yeah, I'm doing uh, catering Charleston. So I want my chefs to with me for a couple months. We're going to see how it goes. And then but we'll plan to come back here in September because we already have some of the folks at my wedding and things like that. So if somebody does want to hire you, how much money time are they going to have to get to the schedule? It kind of just depends. Um, that's one really crazy thing is I would always look at other catering companies like, how are they booked six months out or a year out? I get it now. So when I have stuff already in September, October, November, I'm like, all right, I get that. So they would just cut out. Sometimes, well, you do have stuff that drops off or there are less desirable days. Better, so like if you're doing wedding Friday or Sunday, it's not as midweek. It's not as uh, sought out as a Saturday. So, but we do our best to try to make it work. Um, I have some other colleagues uh, in the catering. Also, I'm to send them work. And if they can handle it, well, I don't know what you know. Uh, yeah, just reach out. Like I said, well, we're not afraid of not sleeping. So, we'll try and we'll figure out, like, hey, we can squeeze you in this little window. Just like, throw it in. Cover it quick. Throw it down. Like, we're out. So, um, but yeah, just like to reach out. Yeah. Anything else you want to share? No, no, I mean, thank you. I appreciate you reaching out. Doing this is really cool. Um, I'm the only person who connects with people, with people that are trying to grow their network and uh, yeah, help all of us out. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.